looking amazing. Happy New Year. Thank you. I'm in casual New Year's. Just get back to the office kind of wear. Love it, love it. Uh, give me like a couple tips of like, you know, coming back, you know, um, starting new, like a new year. Like, you know, how to like progress, be successful. Well, and as any of you who follow me on social media know, I'm all about goal setting and keeping your commitments. And really the key to starting the new year on the right foot is people tend to kind of overdo their goals. Oh, uh -huh. I'm going to work out seven days a week, put an hour a day. Start with small, manageable goals. Start with things that you can succeed at and then build on it. And also focus on process-oriented goals. Don't say, I'm going to lose 10 pounds. You don't know how your body's going to respond, but what you can say is, I'm going to exercise X number of days a week. I'm going to make these changes in my diet. Make sure that they're concrete, manageable changes. What about uh, since the new year, a lot of couples are getting back together or getting away from each other. How, how do you make stronger relationships? Well, to me, the key is connection. I'm always talking about connection. And the study showed that couples, married couples, there was a study that was done that was like the longest longitudinal study of cheaters. Okay. And what they found was that over 90% of the time, people cheat because of either a lack of emotional connection or a combination of a lack of emotional and sexual connection. So to me, connection is the key. It's, it's such a small percentage of people that just we tend to go, oh, they just wanted sex. But it's typically, it's more attention, connection, focus. And we tend to, in this busy life we live, we're busy on our phones, we spend more time looking at a screen than looking at our partner. So this year, look at your partner more than your screen. So you're saying, if we were just to spot a cheater, one of them has to be connection and emotional. Well, give me like the tips for actually spotting a cheater. Well, to me, typically, we're at our most vulnerable to cheat when we're not connected with our partner. And the, you know, most people that I see, at least in my office, when that happens, it's not that they said, oh, you know, there's, look, there are exceptions, there are people who are just cheaters. But I'm talking about people who are in a relationship who don't want to be cheaters. Typically, what happens is it's a slippery slope. They start connecting with someone at work. They start talking about their personal life have good boundaries. You know, in this day and age, people don't have good enough boundaries. You don't need to talk to someone who is cute at work about the problems you're having with your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife. You need to talk to your boyfriend or your girlfriend or your husband or your wife or your therapist about those problems. It doesn't make them better. It just creates a connection with someone else that's inappropriate. Is it tougher if you're actually a celebrity or like a known famous person? Well, I think that when you are a celebrity or a known famous person, you have more opportunity. You have, you know, I always talk about on couples therapy on VH1 that like, you have more people throwing their panties at you. You have more people slipping you a hotel room key. You have more opportunities than the average person. At the same time, it's, it's difficult no matter who you are, when we get into a relationship, when we get in deep, because we tend to be negligent. And the key is not being negligent about our relationship. The key is continuing to put in the same kind of time and energy and effort we did at the beginning. Well, my question is, if you're getting all these opportunities tossed at you, why be in a relationship then? Because the ability and the experience of connecting with someone on an intimate, deep, profound level is unparalleled to anything else that you can have in your life. And that the Many say the only way, some say the best way, to heal your childhood wounds is with another person in an intimate relationship. Oh, okay. Uh, if anybody wants to contact you for like, more relationship advice, where would they? Follow me on social media at Dr. Jen Mann. Two ends on Jen, two ends on Mann. I'm on Instagram, Twitter. You also have a book, right? I've got a book called The Relationship Fix, and I talk about all of this in the book, and there are lots of tips on everything from how to create connection to how to revive a sex life to how to fight fairly to how to make the connection between your childhood wounds and what you're playing out in your relationship and fix it. What else is uh, going on for you this year? Well, I always have my monthly column that is an InStyle magazine. It's an advice column. People can send me questions there as well. And I have a couple of projects that I can't talk about yet, but that are very exciting. So check out my social media. Hopefully I'll be able to announce them this year. Thanks, Zach. Thanks. What's, up? What's going on, guys? It's Ryan Fu. If you guys enjoyed that video, please smash that like button. And also hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button so you guys can be up to date with all our videos. So once again, smash that like button and hit that notification bell next to the subscribe button and check you guys out later.
and keep on shocking them, bros.